Hi, in this, the sixth video of my Walking Man animation, I'm going to do a walk further forward and then I'm going to reverse play the animation to walk backward. So what we have here is the man and this is the animation controller that we're seeing here in the animator panel. And if I pick this um, man, uh, let's see, how do I get back to that? Here's the walking animation that I put in here. I dragged and dropped in here. And here we have a value called speed. So if I press play and I say to walk forward or backward, this speed parameter says how fast he walks. So if I double the speed to two and I press forward, or backward, the speed is at two now. Now, when we go backwards, we kind of want to have them go in negative one to play the animation in reverse. And that would look like this. If I press backward or forward, now that's the animation in reverse. So now that I know if I could set this parameter here, the speed, from my script, I can set it to a positive one to go forward and a negative one to go in reverse. Okay, so to do this, what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to check this um, checkbox for parameter, and then it tells me I must have at least one parameter of type float in the animation controller. So here we have one parameter that's a bool. Now we're just going to add another one that's a float, and this one's going to be for the speed. So I'm going to type in speed there. And now the error has gone away because now I can pick speed as a float. Okay. So that's the first step. I pick the animation and I set that there. Now in the script, I could do a thing where, let's see. So now it's not just if vert is not equal to zero. We're going to have if vert is greater than zero, we're going to walk forward. So we're going to play the is walking. We're going to set that to true and the anim dot set float parameter and the float parameter's name is speed and we're going to set that to um, positive one. Okay, and then over here we'll just have an else condition else if vert is less than zero we're trying to walk backwards we'll play the animation by setting the bool is walking to true still. Okay, we'll still do that, but for the float of speed, we'll set that to a negative one to play the animation in reverse. And it looks like I forgot my dot. Okay, so now this is going to set this speed parameter, which will change the value of speed there. Okay, to one or minus one. So let's save the script and press play. Okay, so now if I press W or the up arrow to go forward, that's great. And I press the S or the down arrow to go backward, that's great too. And it plays the animation in forward or reverse. So now with just my two animations, I could um, have my character play the forward for the walk or reverse the forward animation for him to walk backward. That's nice, there you go. And I could still control the speed here. I could say two if I want it to be um, faster walking. I click in the game window again. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I kind of like the speed of two. Anyway, that's how we could control the, the animation and the direction of the animation.